The Israel Defense Forces attacked Iranian military sites, including air defense batteries and facilities involved in the production of ballistic missiles used in Iranian assaults on Israel on October 1 and April 14. Furthermore, the military stated that these strikes have granted the Israeli Air Force greater freedom of action in Iranian airspace and that they have a wide range of targets they can strike in future operations if necessary. The extent of the damage caused by the strikes will be assessed later, the Israel Defense Forces announced, adding that Iran has paid a price for its attacks on Israel. After the completion of Israeli strikes on Iran, Israel Defense Forces spokesman Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari warned in an English-language statement that if Iran makes a mistake and escalates further, Israel will respond. Iran claims that its air defense system successfully repelled Israeli attacks, although some facilities sustained limited damage. In a statement from Iran's air defense, it was reported that Israel targeted military sites in the provinces of Tehran, Khuzestan and Ilam. The Israel Defense Forces announced that it has completed overnight airstrikes targeting Iranian military facilities. The strikes conducted approximately 1,600 kilometers from Israel, involved dozens of aircraft, including fighter jets, refueling planes, and reconnaissance aircraft, reports the Times of Israel. All aircraft safely returned to Israel. The strikes were carried out in multiple waves over several hours across various regions of Iran. آسمان شهر تهران بعد از شلیک دوباره پدافند هوایی کاملا امن بدون هیچ آتش انفجار و یا دودی تصاویری که همکنون میبینید مرکز شهر تهران میدان بهارستان ساختمون مجلس شورای اسلامی برج میلاد تهران از دور کاملا امن بدون هیچ دود و حادثه امروز شنبه پنجم آبان ساعت حدود پنج و خورده صبح
The Iranian government has ordered its armed forces to be prepared for war with Israel. At the same time, Tehran is attempting to avoid direct confrontation, even at the cost of dismantling affiliated groups in Lebanon and Gaza, reports the New York Times. Four Iranian officials told the New York Times that Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei ordered the country's armed forces to develop multiple contingency plans in response to expected Israeli military retaliation. They warned that Iran would strike back if its territory suffered significant damage or casualties. However, Tehran might refrain from responding if Israel only targets a limited number of military sites and weapons depots. Officials, two of whom are members of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, stressed that Iran would certainly retaliate if Israel hits oil facilities, nuclear installations or high-ranking officials. They did not rule out the possibility of an attack using up to 1,000 ballistic missiles or disrupting energy supplies in the region. According to the report, in recent weeks, Iran has been working to strengthen alliances with regional Arab countries, but has also warned them that any assistance to Israel during an attack would make them a legitimate target. Nasser Imani, a political analyst close to the government, told the New York Times that Iran does not seek a major war with Israel, saying, we don't see any benefits in the region exploding. He added that at this stage, Iran does not view war with Israel as a threat to its existence. However, he believes that a prolonged conflict would be devastating and could derail the new government's efforts to negotiate with the West in hopes of lifting harsh U.S. sanctions and improving the dire state of Iran's economy. Two Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps members told the New York Times that senior generals who had not commanded battalions in Iraq and Syria and are now fighting Islamic State militants have been deployed to all border provinces. There is concern that armed ethnic separatist groups and militants, such as ISIS, could launch attacks and provoke unrest if Iran enters the war. In recent months, tensions in the Middle East have significantly escalated. Since the Hamas terrorist invasion of Israel from Gaza in October 2023, Iranian-backed Islamic militant groups Lebanon's Hezbollah and Yemen's Houthis have launched regular attacks on Israeli territory. By early autumn, the intensity of the strikes and confrontations reached their peak. On October the 1st, the Israeli army initiated a ground operation in southern Lebanon to push militants away from the northern border and stop rocket and drone attacks. Additionally, in recent months, Israeli intelligence has eliminated several leaders of Islamic militant groups. At the end of July in Tehran, IRGC leader Ismail Ghania was assassinated. The residence where he was staying was rigged with explosives and detonated by Iranian security forces at the request of Mossad. On September the 27th, Israel carried out a strike in Beirut, killing Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah. In response, on the night of October the 2nd, Iran launched its most extensive attack, firing around 180 missiles at Israel. Israel has vowed to retaliate and has already scheduled the timing of its counter-strike. A reprisal may occur as soon as before the US presidential election on November the 5th.